Hello, my name is George Downer. I'll be performing as Ebenezer Scrooge in the upcoming production of A Christmas Carol. I was driving home in Murfreesboro traffic the other day, and, and I realized I started off like this, driving down the road, and as the traffic continued to get worse and worse and worse, what I discovered that I was doing this in the car, and that Scrooge. That was the, the base of this character, just mad and angry, almost road rage at the world and what he's been through. I don't make myself merry at Christmas, and I can't afford to make ideal people merry. The taxes I pay support the institutions we speak of. They cost enough. If people are badly off, they must go there. But many can't go there. Many would rather die. If they would rather die, they had better do it and decrease the surplus population. Uh, I have the opportunity in this show to not only be a part of an incredible cast, but I also get to be with my family. My wife is the assistant director, and my son is playing my nephew, Fred, to Uncle Scrooge. So I just didn't think of anything better at Christmas time than family doing Christmas Carol. The director has literally taken pieces from the original book. She's taken all of the spoken lines, the italicized lines, from Dickens. She took those lines and put together her own script. So it's authentic to the book. So being a part of this cast, you know, it's really being completely authentic to what Dickens tried to put down in the story he tried to tell. George Downer brings um, the most dedication I've seen in an actor. Uh, <laughs> he um, is so incredibly, incredibly dedicated to um, the intricacies of who Scrooge is, and that's just um, so invaluable. So it's so valuable to, to have someone that, that um, is just eat, sleep, and breathing this uh, nonstop. And I don't think there's one rehearsal where he hasn't come up to me and asked me about, how should I do it this way, how should I, and that, the, and he always comes back with his own ideas. And so from there, you get something so genuine because it's, um, he has just absorbed this character immensely. With her direction and the way she creates such an, a working environment for the actors, you, you had to audition. I'm here! And when he wakes up from his nightmare, he becomes essentially a, a, a newborn baby. And all things become delightful to him for the first time. And that, that's, if I can get there with him and really bring out that childhood and find that, that, that charm again, I, I think I'll be pleased with the performance. I'm looking forward to it.